Today's finally the day, Black Magic Supplies new pre-workout, Villain. This is a new pre-workout supplement. For those of you who are concerned, Berserk is not going anywhere. Berserker! Let's go. That's really good. However, Black Magic Supply wanted a hard-hitting, energetic, nootropic-based pre-workout supplement that was different. And this is gonna be different because the flavors are gonna be different because there's no citrulline inside. We have a nitrosogene based pre-workout supplement here, a heavy hit of caffeine, some tropics, and a couple of things that I had a little input on myself. Now, I don't have the full label just right in front of me yet. Well, we're gonna pop it up right now, but then we're gonna take uh, half a scoop of each flavor because there's gonna actually be four flavors. I have a uh, Cherry Smash and Mad Melon, and I am excited for Cherry Smash. I'm gonna do a half serving, one scoop, one serving kind of pre-workout. I'm doing a half serving of each and then we're going to train and come back and talk ingredients. So let's get to these flavors. Let's start with the Mad Melons. Now, those of you who follow Black Magic know that they put out a Berserk Voodoo Edition and Mad Melons is one of the flavors. It's happened a couple times. I haven't had this one. Well, that's solid. Ooh. Honestly, you get so used to citrulline-based pre-workouts that the flavors here come through. That's a, it's, I like this, because it's half natural, half uh, like artificial candy watermelon. I'm gonna say more, actually a little bit more on the art of, on the candy side of things. And we're going all in with these two half scoops. I've measured them pretty carefully here. That's unique. I almost get a, like a, seriously, a, a hint of like blue razz almost in there. But without the citrulline, it's just like a, it's a thinner, easier texture to drink. We get so, we've been gotten, and, and, and nothing against citrulline, obviously, we love it, but sometimes you want something a little different, and this is gonna be that. I'm a fan, but I think I'm more excited for the cherry smash. That's a strong watermelon. So the, the, the tub does say eight to 10 ounces of water. I cut the water in half because I'm cutting the scoop in half. In addition, if you do want more citrulline, one, another thing you could do, behind me over my shoulder is ectoplasm, the stimulant free pre-workout from Black Magic. That's of course sticking around as well. That purple rain flavor, awesome. That actually, the purple rain would mix really well with that watermelon. Now that mad melon is, I don't even want to say watermelon, it's mad melon. It's got, it's got a little bit more than like watermelon. Melon's a big part of it though. And then there's cherry smash. Oh, that's strong. That's a strong cherry. I love cherry flavors. Some people on this channel don't. Oh yeah, 75% dark. This flavor is the one for me. The other two flavors are gonna be Bombsicle. So it'll be interesting to see how Black Magic Supply hits that. You got different angles there. And then the other flavor is going to be Frosty Raz, which I assume is gonna be a blue raspberry. Let's finish up this cherry smash, get to working out. I'm getting a little bit of beta alanine tingle action on my lips. Pretty sure there's beta alanine in here. I'd be very surprised if there's not. Question is if they added a little bit of niacin as well, because that could add some of that flushing on top of the beta alanine. This cherry smash is incredible. I love cherry flavors. And this is a bold, syrupy, thicker one that's mixing really well with, with this ingredient profile, whatever the full label is. No offense to Mad Melon. That cherry smash is fantastic. We're gonna let that kick in for a little bit. Then we're gonna go train. I'm gonna come back, hopefully pretty sweaty, and we're going to talk about the ingredients, talk about this launch. I don't have the other flavors, but hopefully when we have the official ones, we're gonna have to taste those as well. And so stay tuned, I'll be back. A few moments later. Woo, all right, we're back. Great workout, cherry smash flavor. I, I, okay, I knew there's a lot of caffeine in here, so I didn't want to like keep drinking it, but I definitely would have drank more. If that was like a BCA flavor, I'd probably be pounding that a lot. Loved it a lot. So I got the formula and some of my premonitions were right. So first off, yeah, energy, power, focus. Definitely the focus is on. We're gonna talk about that, what I've been doing lately. Really balanced, high energy pre-workout, but there's no alpha yo, no jitters, no weirdness, no uh, like weird sweats, cold sweats, any of that. So I'm excited about that. So we needed a little something in that vein, but it was definitely flavored differently because correct, there was no citrulline inside. This is a nitrosogene based pre-workout supplement. So right off the bat, felt the tingles. There was definitely uh, 3.2 grams of beta alanine here, which will help with endurance, help you get to saturation of your carnosine levels since beta alanine and the essential amino acid histidine combine to form carnosine, help buffer out lactic acid and other acids in the muscles and everything. So you get some tingle effects from that, but I didn't get the niacin flush from it and it makes sense. The niacin form they have here is the flush free niacinamide here. I can tell the difference because if I'm pulling my hair out, <laughs> That's the nicotinic acid. That's the niacin flush for me. And if I'm just tingling in the lips and stuff, that's beta alanine. I just had the tingle. So I've, I'm able to tell basically at this point when a product's coming out that does have niacin flush because I end up like my hair is like, ah. Okay, so beta alanine kicks it off. 
Then we have three different form ingredients that have 1.5 grams inside. And this is where you get it, like a, just a different formula because there's no citrulline inside. I'm gonna skip around the label because I like to focus on nitrosagene. And so we've talked about it many times on our channel. This is what we term like the better form of arginine. Uh, it is bound to inositol and uh, potassium silicate, I believe. Uh, it actually works a little bit as an arginase inhibitor. It keeps arginine, arginine around a little bit longer so that you can uh, produce more nitric oxide because arginine is the precursor to nitric oxide. So we have a lot of research on that and everything. 1.5 grams is a clinical daily dose. This allows you to get away with not having as much or any citrulline at all, which leads to different flavoring. And that's what's cool about this. On top of that, we have agmatine sulfate, which reminds me that we have two different ingredients here that serve as both nitric oxide and cognitive boosters. Agmatine sulfate can work as a neurotransmitter. Nitrosagene has also been shown to improve the blood flow to the point of getting nootropic or cognitive support benefits out of it in terms of, uh, for instance, perceived energy. First off, if this was a stimulant-free product, which it's not, we have stimulants, we should talk about that next, but also short-term memory and not having as much uh, like cognitive slowdown. I forgot the exact term, but as much cognitive slowdown post-workout, which is where I'm at right now. And so it keeps the blood flow, keeps the focus going, even after you've worked out, the nitric oxide boost can last quite a while with uh, nitrosagene. So then we have agmatine sulfate, which also works as a neurotransmitter and can support nitric oxide elevation as well. So a solid dose of it too. Like back in the day, we used to see 500 milligrams. Like if I was taking a solo in capsule form, two capsules or a gram would be where I'd feel it. Black Magic went with 1.5 grams here. So pretty cool stuff. And then 1.5 grams. Similar story with L-tyrosine, which is a precursor to a lot of our favorite happy hormones, the dopamine, the norepinephrine, epinephrine, all that stuff. Tyrosine is also important for thyroid. We'll get into that a little bit too, thyroid hormone production to elevate a little bit of energy. Uh, we like it for the nootropic benefits. A lot of times might start feeling it around 500 milligrams. Eh, I'd say about a gram. But here, once again, we have 1.5 grams. So three solid doses here. And then we get into the choline blend. I could tell there's a choline blend here. So this is where we've been talking about, there was a study about alpha GPC leading to TMAO and in like su subjects that had the Alzheimer's or dementia, there was an increased risk of stroke. So we gotta have a talk about how much alpha GPC or how much choline in general. I think this isn't just alpha GPC. And so my take here, I've always felt good off of choline blends. And that is the case here as well because alpha GPC and choline by tartrate are here uh, together. Now, the thing is that we do have a high dose of both of these. And in the top of this label, you're gonna see that we have 91% uh, of your daily value of choline by tartrate. What this means to me is that if you're like schlonking like six eggs a day or eating a crap ton of eggs, I honestly wouldn't on the regular eat a ton of eggs and have a ton of a villain here on the same, t on the same day at some point. It seems that there's like some level of choline overflow into TMAO, which can, over a long period of time, we're talking like 10 years, which can lead to some cardiovascular issues. However, so I've, I've kind of reduced my egg consumption because of this, because we're taking choline supplements a lot in our, in our reviews and everything. I haven't hit the choline as hard lately as, until today, and it felt really good. I gotta be honest, I think I've gone too low in choline. In general, like with the egg consumption, pretty much like one egg a day seems to be like a little bit more of the natural thing. Any more than that, you start getting into a little bit more like associative data where uh, high egg consumption leads to certain diseases. And it could even be like diabetes or liver and everything. So I don't think we need to be eating a ton of choline and a ton of eggs. To me, it's like one or the other. If you're drinking Villain, in my opinion, I don't think you need a ton of eggs, but I definitely felt this. And I think I've, I've kind of gone in the opposite direction. And so my take is if you are not eating a ton of eggs or if you're vegan or anything like that and you take down some villain, this is gonna feel good. And I, it hit me. That's my take. We're gonna, like, that's a to be continued conversation. But if you like choline supplements, <laughs> that I lo I've always loved the blends. I feel the blends better than a single choline ingredient on its own. So subscribe to Price Well. We're gonna continue talking about that, but I think we're gonna land on something along these lines of it depends on your diet. And if you're eating a ton of eggs, you probably don't need to supplement choline. If you're drinking a ton of choline supplements, you probably don't need a lot of eggs. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't think you should do both. Okay, so then after that, we have to talk about the caffeine blend. We have 250 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, but then we have another 50 milligrams of Extenergy, so the extended release caffeine. Just like I like choline blends, I've always liked caffeine blends, and this one's no different. There's lots of different types of extended release caffeines. This one comes from OmniActive, which is a really cool ingredient manufacturer. So pretty excited about this. We'll need to pop up on the screen if we know what the actual yield is here. On top of that, I'm, I'm gonna save the best for last, not the best, my personal one. We have Cognetic, Neurofactor 
brain-derived neurotropic factor, booster from coffee berries, and this is an ingredient that we consistently say just, it feels good. And this is providing some of the feel-good effects that we have on top of these other nootropic, nitrosogene, tyrosine, choline. It's, it's a feel-good pre-workout. You're not hearing me talk about any like Rolicine or Alpha Yohimbine or GBB or stuff that makes you just like, uh, you know? So like, that's why I'm, I'm a fan of this product. And then we do have a little bit of potassium and a good bit of, of sodium. If you're low on sodium, you're gonna probably get a better pump with this from a 9%, uh, 200 milligram sodium yield out of the Himalayan salt. So the last thing here, and this is my suggestion, when talking to Black Magic behind the scenes, for those of you who are ever a little bit iodine depleted or iodine deficient, it could be for a bunch of different reasons, taking iodine feels like a rocket fuel. And I've said this on the channel probably since 2017, 2000, 2018 is when I figured this out. And I started taking iodine and like a lot of things changed for me. And I'm a huge fan. So for the, some of you are going to be fine and not feel this. Others are going to say something else is going on in the supplement. And to me, it'll be the iodine. And it's not a huge amount. It's 125 milligrams of organic kelp that's helping to provide it. But in our society, we have a lot of uh, iodines used for, for thyroid precursor. As a thyroid hormone precursor, it's important for the metabolism. The thyroid is important, very important for the metabolism and other processes. The issue is, is that we have an onslaught of iodine competitors in our society. First off, we used to have a lot of iodized salt, but a lot of people are switching to these gourmet sea salts, these pink Himalayan salts that have basically no iodine inside. A lot of us are not eating kelp or seaweed on the side. And if you are like lowering your, let's say, egg consumption, then you might be a little bit lower in iodine too. That's one other source where you can get it. So where are you getting your iodine from? You have to look at that. A lot of times it's from salt, but we've been changing to these non-iodized salts. That's one thing. Then we have all the iodine competitors out there. We have fluoride put into the water supply. All the halogen elements are potentially going to compete with iodine and displace it and mess up thyroid hormone production. So fluoride in the water supply, and it's really tough to filter out. Costly, you have to get, well, hopefully live in a place that's not basically poisoning you, but you have to have like uh, reverse osmosis water. Then uh, there's also bromine, and so brominated bread, for instance, brominated flour, and then we have fluorine in the water. I, I, I go to, like, when I go to Cleveland to visit my parents' house, I take a shower. It smells like a swimming pool. There's so much chlorine in that water. Chlorine can also potentially displace the iodine as well. So we have a lot of competitors. It's important to get rid of that stuff, but it's also important to make sure somewhere in your diet, whether it's salt or supplement or kelp or you're eating seaweed or sushi or whatever it is, to get some iodine. And if you're feeling sluggish, it's an easy, cheap, quick thing. Rather than adding more and more caffeine, add a little bit of iodine. So I said to Black Magic, just throw some iodine in there. A few people might feel like rocket fuel from it. And if not, no big deal. And so there we are. If you're feeling it, that was my take. I think it's a little fun, special thing. I like choline blends. I like caffeine blends. I like having a good amount of nitrosine, tyrosine, and then ivermectin sulfate. We really haven't talked about a whole lot lately. So there's like some new stuff in, new old stuff in here. And I, of course, always love iodine. So that is the Black Magic Villain pre-workout. It is not gonna be doing any of the non-compliant stuff out there, and it's not gonna be the same old, same old citrulline, creatine, beta alanine, like all, it's different. There's a lot of different stuff in here, and you could always stack it behind over my shoulder with ectoplasm to get a little bit more of the other ingredients that you're generally used to. So I think it's a kind of a nice twist. Very excited about this pre-workout, and if I were to tell you to get a flavor, if you like cherry, cherry smash is where it's at. When it comes out, I will hope to taste the uh, bombsicle flavor and the frosty raz flavor, which I'm assuming is blue raz. We'll find out. But let me know what you think about the iodine thing. Maybe, no, I'm not gonna backtrack. I was gonna say, maybe I'm like too into it, but I don't think so. I think we have too many iodine competitors out there and it's tough to filter that water. So make sure iodine is at least not getting completely displaced. I would take even more than what's in here if necessary, see how it feels. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.